What's the future of Pritchard Stadium? The venue's main tenant, Biger High School, announced this week that it will play games there anymore. Amber Grigley met today with the two men running for mayor. Deplorable conditions overlooked by weekly football games and events now calls for immediate changes. Pritchard Stadium have had a need, it has been a need for the stadium years and years back. We've all advocated for Alabama Trust funding. Of course, it, the theft of funds did not help us at all because of the theft of $500,000, this is the results of it. Tuesday, Biker High School principal Gerald Cunningham's frustrations about the stadium reached a breaking point. He sent a letter to Pritchard City leadership stating he was fed up and that the conditions of the stadium are extremely embarrassing to his coaching staff, football team, and student body. Therefore, Viger High School will not play any more football games at Pritchard Stadium. Councilman Lorenzo Martin agrees. As of right now, I cannot blame uh, Principal Cunningham nor the staff and the players for not designing. We asked prior to the last game, was everything taken care of? We had an emergency meeting set by the council asking for the funds that was given to us. It was a total of $15,000 that was given that's supposed to be towards maintenance of Pritchard Stadium. And right now we haven't got true justification of whether those dollars go. Mayor Jimmy Gartner says after major sporting events moved from the stadium, it became less of a priority. If the stadium is being underserved and underused, then the citizens of this city is going to expect you to take that revenue and focus more to their infrastructural needs, police, fire, uh, public works, garbage and trash and those things and these roads that are in dire need of repair. Martin says they are planning to start as early as next Tuesday as far as getting a budget together and figure out what's next for Pritchard Stadium. But for now in Pritchard, I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5.